many of the most common diseases are caused by tiny microorganisms called pathogens. Pathogens infect or invade the body and attack its cells and tissues. Some bacteria, rickettsia, fungi, protozoa, certain types of worms, and all viruses are pathogens. Diseases caused by the direct or indirect spread of pathogens from one person to another are called communicable diseases. The followings are types of pathogens and their nature. Bacteria are one-celled microscopic organism that rank among the most widespread of living things. Some are small that a single grain of soil may contain over 100 millions of them. Most bacteria do not cause diseases. In order to live, all bacteria must have food supply, as well as suitable temperatures, moisture, and darkness. Some bacteria digest non-living food materials such as milk and meat. These organisms are called saprophytes. If the food supply is a living plant or animals, the microorganism is called parasite. The plant or animal that the parasite feed on is called host. Toxin bacteria produce a certain food poison called botulism. These bacteria lives in soil. Resident bacteria lives in human mouth, intestines, and skins. These help protect us from harmful bacteria. Lactobacilli found in the gastrointestinal tract. Coliform bacilli found in the intestines help break down the carbohydrates and combat disease-causing bacteria. Rickettsia are organisms that are considered intermediate. That is somewhere a virus and a bacteria. Most of them grow in the intestinal tract of insects which carry them to their human host. Requires living cell in order to grow such as lice, mites, and ticks carry ricochet to humans. Viruses are small, simple life-like form from one half to 100 the size of bacteria. These organisms are the human body worst enemies. All viruses are parasites. Virus attack specific type of cells. Example are rabies virus that enter the brain cell and polio virus attack the nervous system. Cold virus enter the respiratory system. Viral hepatitis is caused by virus that affect the liver. Mumps and mononucleosis are caused by viruses that affect glandular tissues. Smallpox, chickenpox, shingles, and rats are infections caused by virus that attack the skin tissue. COVID-19 coronavirus disease attack healthy cell and eventually the respiratory system. Fungi are simple organisms that cannot make their own food. Many lives on dead animals, insects, and leaves. Fungi are therefore saprophytes. Two of the most common fungi are yeast and mushrooms. Pathogenic fungi can also cause brain inflammation and serious lung infections. Protozoa are single-celled organisms that are larger than bacteria and have a more complex cellular structure. Most of these are harmless and they are most common in tropical areas that have poor sanitation. Parasitic worm, classified as parasite. A parasite is a disease-causing organism that lives in human or other animal and derives its nourishment from the host. Parasitic worm, also called helminth, live in human. The word helminth is derived from the Greek Helminths meaning worm. Helminthology is the study of parasitic worm. Common helminths and the problem they cause include the following. Round worm. The eggs usually enter the body through contaminated water, food, finger placed in the mouth, and hands 
that touch a contaminated object. Pinworm, also called sitworm and threadworm. It hatch and live primarily in the intestines. The egg usually enter the body through the anus, nose, or mouth. Trichina espiralis. This worm lives in intestines and causes a serious illness known as trichinosis. Tapeworms. It lives in the intestines. The eggs usually enter via raw or uncooked beef. Flukes. Flukes live different location of the body. Flukes first mature inside freshwater snail. After leaving the snail, they can enter the body of human by penetrating the skin of person, swimming, bathing, or washing in the water, where flukes are active. Fluke cause illness are classified as schistosomiasis, also called bilharziasis. Prevention of helminth diseases usually requires frequent washing of hands, frequent cleaning of bathroom and kitchens, and thorough cooking of food. They infest mainly beef, pork, sausage, and bear meat. Water should be chlorinated if possible and proper garbage disposal. Angela Buenaflor reporting.